we have a lot of fun on this show discussing a wide range of topics, a wide range. And today, we want to spice it up with a very special guest who always has a lot to say. Get ready for a special edition of Guess Who's Coming to Girl Chat. Mm. Oh, I'm excited about this one, ladies. Joining us for Girl Chat is one of the funniest and most talented writers in Hollywood. He has been the brains behind some of TV's biggest shows and one of the wittiest people on Twitter and IG. I just love him. Please welcome the hilarious Gary Gennetti. Yay! 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 Hi, everyone. Oh, my goodness, Hello. Gary. You Hi, are Gary. hilarious. Okay. Hi, guys. I'm so happy to be here. I love you all. Oh. I'm so happy no, to Gary. Such a huge fan. I'm like always hitting my phone, like, Gary! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say oh, the most impossible things you could say on the internet. Well, Gary, are you ready <laughs> to dive into some girl chat? I sure am, Lonnie. All right. Woohoo! Okay, Gary, check this out. Graduation day is around the corner for a lot of students all over the country. Now, it's the time of year when we start to see commencement speeches given by prominent people. So today we want to discuss with you the best advice for the graduating class of 2022. What do you think the graduates should know about the real world in order to prepare for it? <laughs> well, Garcelle, I feel like the first thing they should know is nothing they did the past four years is actually gonna prepare them for it. <laughs> but right. now they need to get ready for the real stuff. I felt like I never was really prepared for like what happens when you enter the real world. but. There's super simple things. I think it's like, follow your passion. Do what it is that you feel passionate about. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks about right. anything. What do you, no matter how specific it is, how crazy anybody tells you it is, that's the thing to follow. That's how you find your success. I love that. Be kind. Be Don't kind. be a jerk. Okay, kind. yes. Don't be a jerk. I thought, <laughs> I, when I first, you know, and I'm sure you all know, I've been around so many people that were jerks in Hollywood at the beginning, but I thought there's two things you can learn. Either be like this person when you get power, or this is the way not to be. And I was like, this is the way not, not to, be. to be. The people you meet on your way up, you meet on your way down. Right. Be kind. Every assistant I was kind to now, I mm. like it pays itself back to you. You know, Gary, so you get it. a lot. Sometimes you get heat for the things that you put online. Can we give some advice to the graduates on dealing with criticism? Good, uh, yeah. You know, dealing with criticism is listen to criticism, too. I, I think, Lonnie, it's something that we, we can all do. And when it's correct and it, you need to kind of learn something and change your behavior, don't be defensive. Just say, uh, you're right. You know, that was kind of cruddy, and, and I'm not going to do that again. When it's something that's helpful, I feel like if you're come ex going to criticism with an open space to accept it, and then sometimes if it feels like it doesn't apply to you, it's also okay not to rethink everything you're thinking about and say, hey, in this case, maybe this is criticism that isn't working for me. Do you know what I mean? But be open to everything. What do you think about that, Jeannie? I, I totally agree with you, Gary. And I think your confidence, even just follow you on, on Instagram, you have such a way of bringing humor into things that I can see, it feels like things just roll off your back. It feels like it, you don't get affected by things. So I feel like your advice, plus having a sense of humor, even if it means at yourself, digging at yourself sometimes. Yeah, oh, I have will it allow at you myself. To just make light of things. Right. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Okay. Absolutely. All right, now how about this, Gary? Because summer's yep. almost here and planning a vacation can be tricky. So we want to talk about the do's and don'ts of following reviews online. And okay. I know you ah. and your hubby, Brad Goreski, you guys love to travel. How much do you trust the comments people leave on travel sites? <laughs> all right, Jeannie, you know, first of all, when I, I, I look at every travel site comment, I look for the one stars, not the five stars. I'm like, what's wrong with the yep. place? And then I look at the photos. Oh. Show me the photos that people yep. took of the bathrooms, not that they took on the hotel website. So the photos don't lie. And you know, and I kind of see what do people not like? Is that gonna be for us? So sometimes I'll tell Brad, I'm like, we're not staying there right. or like, <laughs> we're good. And then when you go to a hotel, always say, this is a good tip. When you're checking in, what room were you thinking of giving us? Mm. Ah. This lets them know. <laughs> That's a good Just idea. Just let them know you might want an option. That's a good yeah. idea. Can I sidebar for a moment, Gary? 
I cannot yes, wait Cartel. to see what Brad does with this season's parodies. Oh, he's yeah. so good. He's so good. Garcel, we're so, isn't Brad amazing? Well, he already did uh, the trailer, yes. which looks Amazing! This season looks <laughs> so great. He's already, um, yes, I he's can't already wait. planning that this is going to be a no, big that's one. That's the parodies I can't wait. of the Real Housewives. Of the Real Housewives okay. of Beverly Hills. Right, I cannot parody, wait. the parody oh, okay. videos on Brad's Instagram. Yes. All right, <laughs> and they are incredible. Now, Gary, another thing that's incredible is your new book. Start without me. I'll be there in a minute. It's like literally the perfect poolside book. Tell me a little bit about your latest literary work. Super excited to hear. Thanks. It's just essays from, you know, when I was young and I was trying to kind of figure out how the world worked and things from my childhood that kind of still stuck with me. Garcelle, obviously, I know you just wrote a book too, so isn't it interesting to kind of have to go back and, you know, ex ex excavate these, can I say, excavate these yes. things from your past again? You know, it's, it's kind of a weird experience. It really is. Well, you know what, Gary? We are so glad that you were able to chat with us today and uh, keep us laughing. We really, really love it, and we need it right now in this world. Gary's book, Start Without Thanks, Me, Lonnie. I'll Be There in a Minute, is out now, so be sure to pick up a copy.